I am a warrior, I am a fighter. I am a chronic illness survivor. I am my fellow warriors admirer. Inspiration for my blood sisters to thrive. Scuffling with my body to stay alive. Struggling for the ability to strive. Conqueror or recurring death race. Prospering in any case. I am a warrior, I am a fighter. I am a sickle cell disease survivor. What's up Sellies? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to do a review of Transformers Rise of the Beast, which is the last movie that we went to see. Yeah. It was great. First of all, I'm excited to talk about this movie. Really? Because they had sickle cell in it and they oh, actually yeah. portrayed it right. Buddy, if you would have seen the way how I looked at that screen when that little boy <laughs> had sickle cell, I was like... Bro, me too. No, I was but like, when he at first came in the kitchen with his brother and like he was hot in his hand, mm -hmm. I said he got sick of sex. <laughs> I said this would have been the old first time Hooli would have been right about a character having sick of sex. I said he got sick of sex, and then when the brother had explained why his hand was swollen, I was like, I, I was knew like, it. He had it, and the way they portrayed it was perfect. It was That's how you portray right. sick of sex. Like, it didn't no. even have to. The story didn't even wasn't even centered around his brother sure having wasn't. sickle cell, but they brought it up enough. Mm -hmm. And like just the boy's personality, it being somebody with sickle cell, like, it matched in everything. Like he acted just like how people with sickle cell act in everything. And I wasn't even mad that like okay he was Latino. Like they got everything right. They didn't make it just a black person because you know they try to make it seem like it's just a black disease. Yeah. Like they got everything right. Like it was, was funny. That movie. My brother came home and was like, "So when you have sickle cell crisis, your your your, your wrist and stuff be swollen up." I'm like, "No, man, my wrist was like." I do. That man was asking me questions. I'm like, "Not him, want to be." How you know your wrist don't swell up? They, they always look the same, and my wrist don't hurt. So my wrist don't never hurt. Wait till you get thirty. <laughs> Cause, almost because I didn't have that my because when I was little I used to it used to swell up a lot but then I didn't have that issue and then now all of a sudden stuff would just swell up my elbow would swell up anything would just swell up just every little thing that I do I, saying, I, I have to prop my hands up a lot of times if I'm using my phone too much it's gonna swell up I, was say, yeah, I don't really deal with swelling I do yeah. I didn't either until <laughs> I got older like I didn't. I mm -hmm. did when I was a baby. You did tell me 30 was rough, so. Yeah, it is. Like, that's your, <laughs> that's your hit hard. You like, 30. all kind of stuff be happening. That's your, what did she say? That ain't never happened. That joint different. Like, oh. all kind of stuff. I'm like, well, I used to swallow like that. She said, when you was a baby. Oh. I'm like, God dang, it started raining. My little, the little, it, it come out. I feel it. I literally be feeling it moving. Oh, no. Like it's crazy, but they portrayed it perfectly, and I and I kind of I ain't gonna say that I feel like they did it because lately the things about sickle cell in the media have been trash. Like the way that they've been rep trying to represent us, not represent us, cause they ain't trying to represent us. Mm -hmm. Making the little jokes and stuff that they've been making, like on that um, was it? It wasn't it was, a Scooby Doo. It was it Velma. Was, yeah, I didn't even that watch Vel that. Me neither. That Velma show, that was trash. Like, and I feel like if you're going to talk about an illness, you need to be informed so you can know what you're talking about. But mm -hmm. this movie had it right. Like, even down to the point, the fact of him giving his brother that speech, that, him giving him that I was speech. Like, look at this little, I was like, how did he get it right? So I was like, this is. Like, his personality, was everything was like, like a warrior. Like, they made him like strong and like confident. It was and it was, it was great i was happy but the end where uh there was like I'm, we could pay for your all your brother man. oh yeah i said oh so i gotta save the world <laughs> i gotta save the world in order for y'all to pay for my medical bills and stuff that is oh, crazy like, bro i'm gonna pay for all his medical bills that was crazy bro but that really how the medical how we get treated like especially when it comes to billing but that was messed up and that was in the 90s mm -hmm. that was crazy like that was like 1994 they wouldn't even see the little boy because he couldn't pay them that's crazy I saw that thing. I like at least we do have medicaid now and that probably yeah. was like around the, before the black panthers had put all that stuff in to place mm -hmm. for us or whatever because that's how we got anything anyway <laughs> <laughs> what 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Kalani is so accidentally funny. But but how they was how they was like dismissing him and also how the brother like really wanted to look out for his little brother or whatever because his little brother already suffers a lot so he wanna he wanted to save the world for his brother yeah yeah so like him being him even being motivated by his brother was amazing his brother being like the the confidence Mm -hmm. for him it was dope but it was great. Optimus Prime gave a, all of the speeches that he usually does in Transformer movies. Yeah. Um, this also I really like the storyline. The fact that they had two co- people of color as the main characters was, was bizarre oh, to wait. me. Oh, we get I'm like, wow, sickle cell and two people of I'm color. Like, I'm like, let me find out Hasbro out here pushing for us. Bro, oh, they did by um, they did by that bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they mm. they was hitting they was hitting all the nails they all the nails on the head they like they was doing good they hitting kind of close to home. Boy, that <laughs> that boy ain't got nothing to do with me being me black. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, oh, but yeah, they was doing everything right. It was just dope. The storyline being the him being motivated to save the world because he wanted to save his family, his brother, his mom working and him having to take care of his brother, him trying to find a job, like just everything yeah. was dope. Plus that girl who um was that our, she was, was she an architect the archaeologist. Mm, not architect. Yeah, not Arche- archaeologist. Was in training, I guess you could yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah, she was an she intern. She was an intern but she was an archaeologist. She was because smart, she, she figured would, out she everything. Figured out all the information and the and she Literally. would tell that lady and the lady would take credit for it. Mm-hmm. And I, th- I feel like that's how it happens a lot. Yeah, that's how it happens. But she just was dope. Like her character just being motivated by her passion for um, archaeology, I guess you could say, her passion for history and where things come from, and stuff like that she was was, was amazing. Um, Optimus Prime was aggressive as usual, very aggressive and very uh, bossy. I'm just gonna say, yeah, on his black tires that day. He was aggressive. Um, he wanted smoke. <laughs> and Bumblebee, smoke. being Bumblebee. Yeah. And then the fact that he died or whatever, I, I figured B wasn't gonna stay dead, but him dying and Optimus like losing it after that, like him him losing Optimus it. Optimus wanted it back in blood, bro. He was like, uh-uh. <laughs> so he had to get every it back in chance blood. he wanted to fight, dude. Bro, he was so aggressive. I'm like, God dang, and Jesus. it was loud. Jesus, Optimus, what are you doing? I'm gonna take back Scourge's key, <laughs> and I'm gonna take his head. I was like, Optimus. You don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was mad because B was dead. Seriously, and I also like Mirage. Mirage, Him, was Mirage cool. having like the being like the main um, yeah. Autobot was was dope. P P Davidson. Uh, Davidson did an amazing job playing that character. Yeah. Like, he was so dope. I didn't even rec- recognize his voice. I didn't know it was him until I got I had home. to go look it up. I was like, I, I wanted to know immediately. I had to go look it up. I'm like, what? I was like, and y'all Davis? know he got a distinct voice. He I didn't sure even did. recognize his voice. He got like a nasally voice. Yeah. But they made it sound robotic and then they mixed it and it didn't sound nothing it like him. It didn't sound like him at all. Like, he, he, he did an amazing job. He made us really like that character. Because, you know, B is usually the, the favorite yeah. character of this. Of, uh, yeah, Mirage that, that series. He was like, nah, I'm, yeah. I'm the favorite. He, he <laughs> definitely had main character energy. Like, from the very beginning. And I knew he was an Autobot when them, the symbols, I was looking at the, the symbols, yeah. that the owl looking thing. Which was really that bird, yeah. But, um, like when she when she found the key for them to go home or whatever, and she started studying it, and it just kind of like fell apart or whatever. Um, and they just pulled up immediately. They, they saw that did. light. It was like, oh, we gotta. We they gotta saw go. that light. Optimus was like, bro, ain't no. He hit that. Ain't no way, boy. <laughs> ain't no way. He got on his walkie-talkie. Say, yo. Y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Autobots. We can go home, bro. He gave them that little speech, and she and you and the humans couldn't see it, but yeah, the humans could. was really trusting 
the Autobots were, so they was they kinda was. like had the trust because they couldn't see it. I'd have been looking at them like Like I don't see nothing, like y'all tripping. But they trusted them and they went with them. Mm-hmm. Um They ain't still them wrong. And it was so cute when the boy was like I gotta go like I gotta go save the world and his brother was like, Okay, let me get my stuff. That nigga really wanted to go. Let me get my stuff that like, like nah, I got bro. you. But them, they they fresh up. It was nice. It was it was dope to see. I that. liked that they called each other Sonic and Tails. Sonic that was and nice. Tails. That was cute. And all of the nineties game records, references, like yeah. when Bang called Optimus Optimus Primal, Donkey yeah. Kong. I was like, Okay. I was like, okay. It was cool. <laughs> It was it was dope. It was dope. Like yeah. the casting, um, the fight scenes. Cause I feel like Transformers really just like just like Fast the Fast and the Furious franchise, they get every opportunity to make a bunch of noise and blow up stuff and fight and <laughs> destroy things. The way them oh, Autobots yeah. Autobots be fighting and they people fight, don't even fight know that they world. fighting. They fight like, so no, hard. You supposed to hear them just fighting around the world, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Terracons is ruthless, was but they ruthless, been fighting. Yeah. They've been fighting so hard. I'm like, God dang! But no, that final fight. I'm just if they fight real hard, that fight. Yeah, like, bro. I see them <laughs> oh, movie. Oh, movie. Y'all talking trash. I'm talking about, I want a real fight. I was like, bro. Now we can have a real fight. Like, and bro, to see the, the the beast, the auto beast. With no, the, oh, the, the maximums. maximums. Yeah. The maximums was dope. Um. Also, the girl Autobot, the sexy what I saw, like, I was like, leg, the girl I was like, Autobot. She's a bike, and she can fit inside of a regular car. I was like, look at that. The fact that it seemed like a person was on that bike at first, but it was just mm-hmm. her, the bike, and it kind of like gave us a hint that yeah. he was gonna turn into one. He was gonna have it was gonna be like a suit, like an Iron Man type of thing, that type was of nice. suit. That was dope. That was the first like, time I, I did that. I was like, okay. I, was, I love that part or whatever. And it, to say it was set in the nineties, it seemed futuristic. It did because like you spend you you probably spend like a little bit of time like they like don't get me wrong like they did do a lot of nineties stuff in that movie, but then Reference once they leave the city. Yeah, it seems futuristic once they leave it, the city. Yeah, because it, it's all Transformer stuff. Yeah, so so and they are because they're aliens, so they yeah they are so they their technology is advanced. way more advanced. But it seemed it seemed futuristic, but it it didn't take away from the right. setting of it. Yep. And like this was pretty much like the origin story, like how they came uh-huh. about, why they were on Earth, and I feel like it was perfect because I feel like. I don't really care for the Transformers uh, series like that. I go I to do. the movies because of them. That was my first time they go watching to. one in theaters. I only watch them at home usually. That was my first time watching one in theaters. This was our second time, I think, watching watching in theaters. Because we went and watched one. Hmm. Was it We watched Bumble one Bee? of them. Because Bum- I, 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 I didn't watch Bumblebee. I didn't watch Bumblebee, didn't watch Bumblebee in theaters. We watched one of them in theaters. And it could have been. We probably watched more than one of them. But we usually don't watch them in theaters either. Yeah, we like, usually watch them at home too. I was like, bro, Transformers. That's a lot of fighting. I said, well, this, I said, well, this movie ain't gonna be real loud. <laughs> it do be loud, but I feel like this was a theater experience. I usually don't yeah. feel like that about Transformers, but this this that one, one was, nice. was a theater experience. I feel like you should watch it in theaters, but it was dope. Um, everything, the storyline was dope. The the action scenes and stuff. It wasn't for no reason. They had a reason to fight. Yeah. Cause I feel like in the other movies they just be fighting. I was about to say. And, and um, then the people. And you know what I also really like. What? They allowed those two characters to carry that story. They did. It wasn't, it wasn't nobody popping in, yeah. and you know the government popping in and different people popping in. They literally allowed those characters to carry that story, it and they did such a good job. It was legit. Just them they didn't have the an- right. They didn't have the answer to nobody to go to uh, nope. Peru. They the only people they can they uh, communicated with with was the Autobots. Autobots. To me, that's what made it amazing because the government wasn't involved until the usually, very end. That's usually how it be in the other Transformer movies. They usually have to they be fighting to get clearance to go to certain yeah. places. Yeah. Then they see, and, yeah. and I loved it for that reason. The government wasn't involved to the very end of it. Um, and they wasn't really involved. They just kind of like yeah. introduced themselves, like oh, just so you know, we around. Yeah. Type of thing, but he had full control over 
uh, his relationship with the Transformers, and I really yep. liked that. Wasn't no outside interference. It was just them. Just <laughs> them. Their, them building their relationship because they did not trust each other at first. They did because she thought he was a thief. Yep. And he just didn't know her. They didn't know each other, which which made sense. But like, cause if they would have ran into that situation and just started working together, it wouldn't have made sense. No, that wouldn't have made sense. But even though they didn't know each other, they were still willing to help each other out. She was still willing to go and help them find the thing or whatever. Yeah, she could have said no. And they did build a <laughs> friendship. And I like the fact that it wasn't a romantic relationship. Yeah, they were just cool. I like the fact that they didn't choose a model because. That's another they thing I hate about too. them. They just choose a girl that's pretty and she has no role in it. She's just there. She's the girlfriend. She's just the arm candy. Yeah. I don't. That's one reason why I don't like it either. Cause it's like they use a lot of cheap stuff to carry the to carry the movie. I feel, mm-hmm. and they don't rely on the storyline, and that's why I don't really have. I don't really care about the series like that. But this movie. I ain't gonna say it made me care about the series, but it's a good. It was a good movie. It could be a good standalone, but I feel like they're about to reboot it. They and, already did reboot it. Well, I feel like this was like the beginning of it. Well, B probably yeah. is the beginning, but you know what I'm trying to say. I feel like, as a whole, this was like the beginning of it. But if if they keep the same energy with the reboot, then I might care. But I tell you what, though. Other than that, I don't, I don't really care about the Transformers, but this movie was good. That's right what I got to say. Marvel got everybody trying to get in their universe back. Everybody. I was about to say, I'm trying to get in there. No, I'm not. They going to want me in there. They legit is trying to... Everybody is trying to get in their universe back and be like Marvel now. Marvel, they should. <laughs> Marvel went out and made their universe and they didn't stop yet. They everybody should. Everybody just now starting their... I was like, bro, y'all got a long way to catch up. Because they were just making up. movies for no reason. Really? Everybody would. Well, if you're Transformers not, had a universe, but like... If you're not really building a universe, why are you making movies? DC Why are you making did, those type well, of movies? I was about movies? to say, DC did it stupid. I'll say that. Because they were just literally just making movies, making them out of place making them out of order and then they will make another movie to sequel that one that's why i ain't never i, I, like, I just never heck? tried to follow that st- dc storyline like i watch every couple of movies say, most of the time first, the thing the reason why i watch this stuff is because of Lonnie. the first dc movie i watched was what, he Aquaman? watched dc i think and he'll be like you should watch you would not seen this or whatever then i'll go watch it but the CW? yeah hmm. the cw stuff oh yeah like green arrow <laughs> you like um You didn't like um Flash, Flash? and um I ain't never watched Flash. What the other one Girl. is? I watch Supergirl now, but I only watch season Remember one of the tried to watch Titans. Yeah. Watch DC, that jump was trash. That jump was funny. That was an DC, experience. Legends of Tomorrow is yeah. one of them. What the one you were saying that they had kinda like did the uh crossovers. Crossovers. It was Flash, Green Arrow. Supergirl. Mm-hmm. It was like, it was the only like one Lightning. I watched out of all those was Supergirl, and I just watched the first season. You yeah, got Black Lightning, bro. Black Lightning is is in it in DC. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got to watch that last season. I ain't finished it, but it got Black Lightning. It kind of got dumb to me. Yeah, that joint is funny. It kind of got stupid. When we tried to watch Titans, that joint was funny. Bro, the fighting. The fighting was so garbage. We was like, man, now nah, we can't watch this. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> we was hyped for that for them having uh, the characters and stuff like that. I ain't gonna say hype. It was cool. Yeah, we was enjoying it. It was watchable. Then they started, they started fighting. fighting. <laughs> the fighting was bad, man. Watch, that was horrible. The fighting choreography is repetitive. It do be repetitive. It do get boring. Lonnie said, watch it for AC. Lonnie said, Lonnie sound like a disappointed fan, bro. <laughs> he said, <laughs> the fight, AC's got repetitive. Got repetitive. Lonnie like, man, I didn't see this, man. <laughs> get this off my screen. But, uh, yeah, I usually don't, I don't oh, really care man. about the DC Universe like that. But, yeah. It, do, it is all over the place to me. Like, it's, I watch every night, a movie every now and then, but as far as, like, them TV shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. This right here is going to be controversial because people do not like these series. My favorite DC stuff is, dang, starting off at number one, the Suicide Squad series. I like Suicide Birds Squad of Prey. Too. And then the Shazam. Both of them. Even two. I like Shaz- the Shazam, too. Like, those are my favorites, and those are some of the, people say that those are some of the worst ones. I'm like, bro, it's fire. What you mean? The best ones. Yeah, them the best they ones. Them jump fire. Like 
Bro, yeah. birds, man. Look at him. They don't like women. The conversation, <laughs> Booney, the conversation me and Zuffy had, because he texted me and was like, yo, you want to go watch Birds of Prey? I was like, man, yeah, man. <laughs> He was like, bro. Did I watch that with y'all? Did you? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't remember watching Birds of Prey. But it was Suicide funny Suicide Squad, I watched. I like both of them. Mm-hmm. I like both Hold of them. Hold up. They both Suicide Squad? It's, what do you mean? Like what they like, they come from the same thing. Yeah, but they just—I don't know why they named it like. Birds of Prey stu- was the one with. It was just Harley Quinn with the Quinn girls. With who girls? The um. With the the the, the thick chi- Chinese chick, the um Rosie Perez. Oh, I ain't watched it. Oh. Y'all went not watch that. I gotta watch that still. I ain't watched. It. But did I, I think I did watch oh, it? We watched it here again. We did. We watched it here again. It was it was just so I'm, funny. I remember it. It was just so funny how Zuffy texted me and I was like, yeah, I was, I was, you know, but dang, bro, I knew he was that that bad a bit about it. I was like, man, you know I like Harley Quinn now. Come on. No but yeah, like Suicide DC. Squad is dope. No reason I like DC. What was the name school. of the last movie that they did that we went to watch? What DC? With Peacemaker in it. Oh no. The Suicide Squad movie. Oh, Suicide Squad. It was just Suicide Squad. I think it's called The Suicide, the Suicide Squad. Squad. Yeah. That one was good. Which was, I don't understand why they branded it that way. I don't know if they were, if they trying to start over or what. Because the first yeah, one. Yeah, because Peacemaker got a show. Because right? the first one, yeah, he got a show. Because the first one is named Suicide Squad. Then they named the second one The Suicide Squad. And I'm like. Mm. Nah, the second one was better than the first one. But I like both of them. Yeah. I also like, um. Shazam. Shazam was good. Who too. don't like Shazam? They don't like the second one. And I'm like, how could you not like Shazam? Tom, the Rock messed it up. I'm like, no, he actually played that character perfectly. That the Rock was in Shazam. Yes, he was the main character. He was um, he was Shazam. <laughs> I mean, not he was Black Adam. My bad. What is that? What is my Shazam bad. It's still Shazam, but like, just a different character. He's supposed to be the villain, but you know, the Rock don't want to play a villain, so they turned him into an antihero. Hmm. People, that's what people was mad about. He they were mad about that. He definitely was a villain, for yeah. sure. I don't yeah. care how much he didn't want to play a villain. I was like, bro. How the Rock don't want to play a villain? He was a villain in wrestling, didn't he? No. Yes, he was. Listen, the Rock he has wasn't. a villain, villainous <laughs> personality. He what wasn't. you mean? He probably, he probably wasn't. The t- they didn't give him the title. He didn't fit in the category. The personality no, no, was no. villain. <laughs> People just like him. The Rock is so he has such an arrogant personality. It's just that people oh, liked man. him. But no, they. I will say that was are probably you, like. Are you kidding me? You don't want to play a villain. He's a villain. <laughs> like, what you mean? I would say that is the per- the best role he's All ever acted. All of them. This his whole family. <laughs> like what you talking about? Roman Reigns, the Usos. Oh my god! I feel like the Usos is. They're not no. villains. They're not villains. No, they're not. But you know what I'm talking about. Like, I would say, yeah, Roman Most Reigns, of their yes. family like villains. Like, Roman what do you Reigns, mean? Yeah. He, he acts just like how The Rock used to act. <laughs> except the except the cheap, the uh, oh, the sneaks that he be doing to people and stuff. But that personality? They got the same so personality. <laughs> that arrogant attitude. Like how he used to be, bruh. Can you spell what the rock is cooking is not Billy? <laughs> you tripping. No, that's not. You tripping, bro. <laughs> you just actually you Bro, know that's a Bro, his personality oh was a villain. Talk about he you just want to know if you smell that pearl or you cooking that. His his literal normal personality. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Like, he's he just likable. Yeah, but he's I just would a say likable person. Black Adam was the best role he's had in years. Fight me. Fight yeah, me. because he just plays the rock and everything else. Yeah, because he doesn't. it doesn't work as him playing the rock as everything in every other movie that he's in. It worked in that movie because he was a person oh, waking yeah, up, trying to adjust, and it worked. What do you mean, him playing the rock? Yeah, it didn't work in the other movies. People only went to go watch I the mean, movie because he's The Rock. It didn't work, but we went to see The Rock. We don't care yeah. about what the movie about. I know, but I'm just saying. I, to me, you, that yeah. feels like he that's his best role. To me, he wasn't that playing was The Rock role. in that movie. Mm. Yeah, no. I wouldn't, because he, he barely had lines. Yeah, to me, he was... And he, he wasn't able to be... He was literally just being quiet most of the times, and then... 
Yeah, yeah to me, he wasn't playing the rug. To me, he just was I mad. I still say that was his best role. Yeah, because he actually was different. And it yeah. was his best role because he wasn't the rock to me. He he wasn't because if you watch because Hobbs and Shaw, yeah, he was the rock. He was yeah, the, he, he was played the trash the rock talker. In all of his movies. Who, exactly the trash, the trash talker. talker. <laughs> that nigga is a villain. <laughs> like what you mean? That's all he do Ooh, talk drugs. Do that man, man. Look at him. <laughs> Think he gonna talk some trash, man. Look at. Him. He just likable, like people just like him. Oh, Even though he, but if, if best believe if it was somebody else who had the Rock's personality, he would be a villain immediately. <laughs> but because of who he was, he was a likable person. So, so it's like, oh, he getting, a, he don't want to play, bro. If he don't go play that villain, <laughs> he don't, don't want to play a villain. He, he don't. Good. That's why they wrote the story that way because he's legit supposed to be. But he the still villain. was a villain. He's supposed to be the villain to Shazam. He still was a villain though. I know, but not in his eyes, he wasn't. Yeah, he can't see. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga can't see. Cause what? You was not no anti-hero. He was literally angry the whole time. He didn't want to. He didn't want to. He was very much okay with letting people die. He just stopped because of that little boy. That's <laughs> all he did. What he did letting people die. Like he was funny. a villain. He wasn't no anti-hero. An anti-hero is somebody who who feels the burden of how how things are in the world and they don't like how it's being ran and so he ain't had no ties to nothing he ain't even had no ties to his own background he didn't care until he built that relationship with that little boy then but he still was a villain he just softened them a little bit he just stopped making he just stopped killing people that's it i don't know he's still killing people he's i mean you know people. what i mean he, he stopped killing people for no reason yeah he, was, he made sure he had a reason to kill people because he ripped that man in half y'all was like good god right yeah he did not <laughs> he care so he ain't even cared about uh what he was supposed to be fighting for he, really did. he did not care like the Justice Society, he was beating them up. He was just, oh, yeah, he was, <laughs> he was just beating he was them, them up. like rag dolls. Oh, and Paul Hawks, man, I was like, around. bro, I was like, bro, that man, hey, bro, you, just just stay down, man. Like, just stay down. <laughs> and he kept on getting. But that hit. movie was good. Though. That movie was good. And the Justice League and all that part. That's who they were, in. Who dumb the people? No, they were legit called the Justice Society. The Justice Society. They were. I like those. I like those uh, characters as well. It was funny because the big dude kept on hitting. He kept on after this. Me and you, man. <laughs> <laughs> me and you. He wanted to fight. <laughs> but um, I will say that they're getting better. DC is getting Transformers. But uh, Transformers <laughs> was very good. <laughs> Transformers was very good. Please like look at the storyline, <laughs> it didn't come to me until afterwards. The storyline, to me, the storyline is what is was the best thing out of the movie, and that's what drove it. Not just because the character's brother had sickle cell, but because he, well, because if if he didn't have sickle cell. He yeah. probably wouldn't have been motivated to you know, to fight. So, it would have been yeah, a different movie. That did have that did influence him. So all of that goes together. But it he was dope. Yeah, I'll watch it. I will watch it again. Usually I don't watch. I was just hyped to see a Transformers movie. I, I was going through. I was going through a Transformers. Um, what's the word? Movie? Well, all right, I'm gonna watch them jump every day. I'm gonna be over there. I swear to God, she look at them junk every day. Like, I, I, was go, I was going through Transformers withdrawal. Yeah, Shia like, LaBeouf in a pretty nah, girl. Nah, wait, nah. I, I ain't talking about his movies now. Nah. You don't like Shia LaBeouf Transformers? No, I like them, but I don't watch them like that. I watch the ones with um, Mark Wahlberg. Them is trash. No. <laughs> yes, they are. They the just, robots are better in those. They just Mark Wahlberg. It's no, trash. No, the robots are better Shia LaBeouf ones are better. I mean, but like the robots. When they started changing people, I would, they lost me. Number one, he had that orange girl in the first one, and he had this mom. He had this oh, girl that Megan. he had this girl that he would they, he would never date. I was in, like in orange girl. 
I was like orange. She girl, was. Orange. She didn't serve. He said Sam was. You talking about Shia? Yeah. Whatever, but Mark Wahlberg trashed to me. I feel like the yeah. reason the why y'all like him better. is because he's Mike Mark Wahlberg. No, his, the robots he, were literally he's, better. He's carrying the movie because of who he is. Mm. <laughs> he's watching trash. it. Trash. <laughs> I'm not watching it. They're just it doing it for no fight. reason. They just be doing stuff in the movie. Well, you know no watching it. For. Plus, the government is too involved. I'm dying in it, out I don't here. like it. <laughs> No, nah, the I like the robots on his. Yeah, like the robots are. I fire agree with that, but his. after that, and but like, aside from everybody else, they should have just let it be that. Just the and robots. Like the best Shia LaBeouf movie, I'm sorry, is Revenge of the Fallen. I love. That's my favorite one of, out of the Shia LaBeouf ones. Like I like. Don't get me wrong. I, love, I like Dark of the Moon too, but Revenge of the Fallen is just better in my opinion. I think I like Revenge of the Fallen better too. Because of that scene in the woods, Optimus was putting hands on them boys. He was talking trash. He I was like, Yo. Optimus is aggressive, bro. Optimus was so tired of Megatron. I had thought Liam Neeson, because don't he act like Liam Neeson? He do. <laughs> I thought that who was playing him. I had to look it up. It's oh, no, some it's other man Peter that Cullen. I ain't had no. Yeah, Peter Cullen. Yeah, I ain't know him. I was like, oh, I thought it was Liam Neeson. Mm-mm. He act just like him, bro. I was about to say <laughs> in that movie you tell Megatron talk to you pieces <laughs> he was talking so much trash I'm like bro I've never heard Optimus talk like this I do like the ro- the oh, that the only reason why I watched them I do like the robots but aside from yeah. them I mainly watch for the robots trash too, so. Mark Wahlberg role trash his acting in that in them oh trash God. just my why do they put Mark Wahlberg and stuff like that I was just I mean I was just I feel like he something like that though. He, he funny. Yeah, that was his like first like actual serious movie. Just like stop putting him in serious movies because I don't like. Cause, like everything I see him in, yeah, he's funny. Yeah, he's usually, usually like, funny. Especially like the other guys. God, that movie is funny. Stuff like that, I like him in. Man, that movie is so funny. That's just like how they be putting <laughs> Ryan Reynolds in everything, and he funny too. He, that just like, he funny was on without Blade. even being funny. Did you know that he was on one of the Blades? I don't know which one, but he on one of... I think more than one, like two. You gotta go watch that series back. He on it. The old one? Yes. Yeah, I gotta He was watch. younger. Yeah, I gotta... He was oh, younger. He, I know he's in the super old X-Men movies. Because mm. he still played Deadpool. That man was And I was everything. like, bro, he always was Deadpool, if you really think about it. He didn't just get that role. He was always Deadpool. He, be in he was younger, and then he played Deadpool, got older, <laughs> and then you played Deadpool. <laughs> But he that he the perfect person for that character. Yeah, he he's living he really Deadpool. He really is Deadpool. He's legit just living Deadpool. But like Mark Wahlberg and him is kinda like the same the same type of actors. Yeah. So like putting him in Transformers. I wasn't expecting him to do that, but I was like when I saw it, I was like, Mark It just Wahlberg. don't fit <laughs> to me. I was like, okay, he's gonna be serious. I was like, oh yeah. Shia LaBeouf kinda funny, but he like a... He's like he's like dry the corn, yeah, yeah. Like he got the dry humor, yeah. Like that corny, funny. It's not like you ain't about to be dying yeah. laughing at what he said. Gonna- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's kind of he got kind of got that. Mm-hmm. But I like him. And that's the thing just I like because I love Shia LaBeouf. That's the thing I liked about this Transformers movie too. Like they had a like it was a little bit different from the other ones. Like it had better comedy, I would say. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't like the usual dry comedy. The yeah, like, Mirage, like yeah, Mirage was killing it. <laughs> he killed it. <laughs> like he, he, uh, Davidson, he killed it. Yeah, and I liked how everything was super '90s. How they was talking, like how they would be in the '90s, and like you could have, like I was, I was about to say, you could have feel the, the Wu Tang's presence. Wu Tang, I was about to say that <laughs> you could legit felt their presence of where they lived at and how people and was also acting. Also, Toby. Uh, I forgot. I forgot to pronounce his last. Talking about the um the dude who the who rapper, the black guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dope. He I was, was like, dope. yo. I was like, yeah, they killed it. That's usually one of those parts that they give ASAP ASAP Rocky mm-hmm. in movies. That like side character that be getting yeah, everybody in that's trouble. That's legit him. <laughs> that's him. <laughs> to the parts they be giving him. It's this movie that ASAP Rocky is in where he got this like nerdy boy in trouble for robbing a store, killing somebody. The boy ain't had nothing to do with it. Wow, you gotta watch it. But he did. He didn't get locked up though. ASAP Rocky did. Oh okay. But you gotta see it. And I was like, this really how hood niggas be. They just be mm. pulling people into they stuff that don't got nothing to do with it. Or like, it be a kid. It be nerds? it be good kids, and they'll pull them into they stuff. Yeah. And get them kids in trouble. Crazy, cause you could tell he was plotting on that boy from the very beginning. I'm like, he's so, 
He's so naive. He don't even oh, realize that he being plotted on. You just want to be friends with. But anyways, good movie. I give uh this movie. I give it a nine, I give it a nine out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> a nine. Yeah. Nine out of ten. It was it was good. It, it was, was very good. Yeah. Not better than Spider Man. No. But it was a good watch. Yeah, it was good. And I feel like it, it, it deserves to be watched in the movies. Yeah. It probably won't have the same effect if you watch it on TV, but it probably still It did Because I watched it again. It didn't. Why you watched it? What you did while I watched that. Right thing? after? We just saw that joke. Like I said, I needed that Transformers itch. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Like Transformers is not that good. But I know y'all watch for the robots. Yeah, I needed that. Not the people, but all of the people that they got in that junk. Ain't Tyrese in it? No, not no more. The old ones, yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, he's like it's, in... It, to me, it was just like the Fast and the Furious franchise. They yeah, just like, was he putting was people in, like, in what, it. He was in the first one, second one. I saw Anthony one, Hamilton four. in one, Phase on Love. I'm like, why are they just he putting wasn't in faces in it? He wasn't in the fifth one. He was, he was in, in too much four. of them. It's crazy because they started it made, diminishing to his me, role. It made it feel no, like he wasn't even Fast in the and one. Furious. Yeah, he was the last one he was in was the third one. They they made it feel like the Fast and the Furious by doing that. Yeah. And that's why I don't like it like that. I, was about to, I ain't watched. The last Fast and the Furious movie I watched was Hobbs and Shaw. And that was yeah. a Fast and the Furious Presents. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't do no more of them. <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw was good, but it was because of Shaw is that Jason uh, Stroud? Yeah. It was because of Shaw and Idris' character. Yeah, Idris the Rock killed it. Was getting on my nerves. Idris killed it. <laughs> that movie. Idris killed it. The Rock was getting on my nerves. The movie. parts I like is when he went to go to his family, and that joke was funny. That was the best part with him in it. But other than that, he was getting on my nerves. I'm like, okay, he acting like The Rock, and I don't like it in this movie. Yeah, that's because Jason Stratham, their personalities yeah. kind of clash. Yeah, it clashes. And that's literally how it goes in the movies. Their personalities play. Like I know they're not supposed to be buddy buddy, and that's pretty much how it's supposed to be. But it was clashing too much for me. Like you said, until he went with his family. Now that was that was lit. He went with his family. But it was a good movie. I liked it. That's the best Fast and the Furious movie. Yeah. After Tokyo Drift, they lost me. I, I even watched watch Tokyo Drift. After last, that one, when they put Bow Wow in it, I knew it was over. The last Fast, the actual last Fast and Furious movie I watched was two, was the second one. I ain't watched no more after that until Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> after, especially after like um, after they stopped thing the died, racing, like, after Paul Walker died, yeah, like, they just they was trying to make up for his death. Too much. I thought it was gonna end right there. But Me like, too. It should have. It should have. It should have. Cause he he is fast and furious. Yep. Even though it was trash at the Cookie Tokyo Drift. Probably before that, but yeah, um, like after. That's the last one I watched. I ain't even watched Tokyo Drift. I ain't even watched it. That's the last one I watched. <laughs> yeah, after the second one, I was like, yeah, okay. But yeah, we give a nine out of ten. Um, it was a good movie and it's worth watching. Uh, thank y'all for watching <laughs> this video. We will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> Before you go, check out our website at cellmatesapparel.com so you can learn more about us and so you can have access to our online Teespring store.